Hi, I'm Audrey, the host of My Tar Heel Adventures. Every Friday we visit a new town in North Carolina to give you an inside peek at our beautiful state. Today we're in Kinston, the birthplace of funk. We'll be visiting a local popular restaurant and then hanging out in the downtown. So stay tuned for an all new My Tar Heel Adventures. This episode is brought to you by Gator Metal Roofing, official partner of the Carolina Hurricanes. Hi, Audra here. We're at Lovick's Cafe and we're talking with the owner, Mr. Steve Lovick. So, Mr. Lovick, can you tell us about Lovick's Cafe? Well, Lovick's Cafe is a 83 years of family fun. My grandmom and granddaddy started it back in 41 during the Depression. It's just one of those feel-good places that are falling by the wayside. You just don't have many places where you just come in and you know half the people that are here. And if you don't, before you leave, you will know them. My grandmom and granddaddy worked across the street at Pulley's Barbecue. My granddaddy worked early in the morning, my grandmama worked at night. She came to work one afternoon and said, Milton, why don't we open up that little cafe across the street that was closed up? He said, what, with what? After a few weeks, they borrowed $175 from a gentleman down the street to open up Love's Cafe. So you gotta remember now, 41 was when the war was started. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the men were going off, and there was a lot of food rationing. So my granddaddy and another gentleman named Carl Koontz came up with a hamburger that they call the dough burger. So we still make it the same way, still sell a ton of them. 10 pounds of hamburger in a pot, six scoops of flour, three scoops of onions, salt and pepper, a few secret ingredients, water. We serve them on light bread. That's how people still eat them today. Usually mustard, onions, and chili. That was how, in the early days, was the mainstay of Lovett's Cafe. That is amazing. So you're saying that the dough burger is something that during the depression people would do at home to ration their food. That's it. And you guys took that and you made it one of your signature dishes. It's it what was. you're still known for to this day. People still love it. That's amazing. It's, it's really crazy, but people come back and they say, I've been, I've been gone for 30 years. I just had to come back and get a dough burger. And then they'll eat it and they'll say, man, that's just like it was 30 years ago. Probably not for the new generation, not the most healthiest thing, <laughs> yeah. but we still sell a ton of them. So Lovick's Cafe is an excellent place where you can come and have a delicious breakfast or lunch. And it's special because if you're from here, then your parents and your grandparents probably came here as well. You guys also have like a special counter that you preserved that has been here from the very beginning, right? Yep. Yeah, actually, I've tried to keep it as much like it was because I had people coming in that were fourth generation. My great granddaddy used to bring me in here. We'd sit at this bar for breakfast. And that makes me feel good that when, I mean, they come in here and last week I was at the counter and I saw a guy and he had his little girl with him sitting at the bar. Man, she's gonna remember that when she gets older that, you know, even if she's not from here, when she comes back here, she'll ride by and say, Man, my dad used to carry me in there and eat. So we tried to keep that area as old school as we can. Mm -hmm. And then as we added on over here, this is kind of a more modern look. So we've got a little bit for everybody. Lubbock's Cafe is known for the dough burger, right. but what else are some of your popular menu highlights? Well, what a lot of people come here for is our pancakes. I mean, they're just known all around. We still make them from scratch and you get pecans, blueberries, strawberries, chocolate chips. The kids love them. And fresh sausage is a number one item. Come here it is, almost Thanksgiving and Christmas. We'll be shipping out pounds of our fresh sausage to up north, California, Texas, Florida, because people just, they want that fresh sausage when they wake up in the morning for the holidays. That fresh sausage that you can only get from this part of North Carolina, that's what they want. Yeah, it's different. So can anyone order the sausage? Oh yeah, you can actually go to our website. They can put in the number of pounds they want. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, shipping costs is already figured in that. So Mr. Lovick, do you have any special events coming up you want to highlight? Well, we, you know, Kinston, downtown Kinston has the parade coming up, the tree lighting. We have Tinseltown, a big, big lighting project in the park. And of course we sponsor all that. People are starting to come to Kinston for various reasons. When we're downtown, we have the barbecue festival. I mean, we're right in the middle of all of it. So we're gonna 
contribute to whatever we can to up Kinston, North Carolina. Do you guys do any catering? During the pandemic, I started calling all these offices and we started delivering plates outside the door and you know, so we didn't have to have any contact. Mm -hmm. Well now, we've got hooked up with a bunch of drug reps and we are in Goldsboro, Greenville, Newburn, Jacksonville, wow. just about every, every other day or day. And it's usually between 40 and 60 plates. So yeah, it's more than just here. And yep. A lot of people don't realize that. So it's great that Lubbock's Cafe is mobile and you're able to go into other towns and serve those people who love the food. So Mr. Lubbock, where can we find you online and on social media? Well, social media, we're on Facebook and you can actually go to our website, lubbockscafe.com mm -hmm. and you can get just about all the information you want. If you want to come to work here, there's applications, the menus on there, there's a DoorDash, um, that you can actually order from that site. So there's there's all ways to get a, to get a hold of us. Alrighty, thank you so much. Well, we just enjoyed your visit. Thank you. Thank you. Now a quick message from our sponsor, Gator Metal Roofing. Attention homeowners, want to be the envy of your neighborhood? Simple, put an energy efficient Gator Metal Roof on your home that will save you money on your cooling and heating bills. Not only will you be the neighborhood envy, but you could potentially cut your energy costs by 40%. And if you call now, you could qualify for 0% financing with payments as low as $99 per month. What are you waiting for? Get off your asphalt and call Gator Metal Roofing right now. Hi guys, we're here at Pearson Park in downtown Kinston, and we're talking with the executive director of downtown Kinston, Mr. Leon Steele. Tell us a little bit about downtown Kinston. Downtown Kinston is a Main Street community, uh, which means that it's part of a national and state revitalization program. What makes Kinston unique for a Main Street community is the size of its downtown and the number of buildings it still has. Most Main Street communities are a few blocks, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we're actually 28 square blocks. We also have over 140 businesses, and so a large number of our businesses are owned by women, and about 60 of those or so are African American owned. And lots of entrepreneurs are watching us and coming too as well. Oh, beautiful. So Kinston is really a community for a lot of movers and shakers and people who, you know, really love the community. Right. Yeah, we have a really good community. We have a supportive community for everybody here and everybody who's coming. Everybody is welcomed with open arms and open hearts. Tell us a little bit about the history of Kinston. <laughs> it used to be called Kingston until the Civil War, I believe, and they got ticked off at King George and dropped the G. <laughs> and so now it's Kinston, and of course some newcomers, are they're always struggling with the G because people used to say Kingston. It's just more common. The history is really, really colorful. We are the birthplace of funk. James Brown used to come here to learn how to be funky, and he got a lot of his band members from our local musicians, like Maceo Parker and Dick Knight, who still live here. We have really rich history here. Colorful, colorful. Basically, it's about entertainment. I'd like to say it started with the Sugar Hill Girls, who were the women who followed the Confederate troops around from camp to camp and the uh, Confederates had to leave kind of quietly and quickly one night and they left the girls behind and so they stayed here and they are known as the Sugar Hill Girls and we have Sugar Hill Pizza now and there was a whole district where they lived and ran their businesses um, just down the, down the road here, right downtown. Nice. Yeah. yeah, everybody speaks fondly of all their associations and their family <laughs> with all kinds of people around here. It's good, it's really wonderful. And of course we have to talk about food we have a livestock history, uh, seems to be primarily pork, and we have some good restaurants. Wow, so it seems like there are a lot of great things happening in downtown Kinston, and not to mention over 140 different small businesses, yeah. right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, people talk about the mall this and the mall that, or the mall's dead, or we need the mall back, or whatever. Yeah. But your downtown was your original shopping mall. Yes. You know, and you're um, supporting local people. You're exactly. support, supporting the community here. You, you are your friends and neighbors. They have these businesses and they need your support. Yep. Yes. Holidays yes. are coming up, guys. Shop local. Shop local. Shop downtown. Yeah, shop your Main Street. Change can be incre very incremental. Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to bring something back and revive it, people expect it to happen overnight. And it can't. 
Right. It takes patience, it takes planning, it takes money, and it takes people. Fortunately, you know, we've made a good bit of progress lately and I um, hope we can keep that momentum going. Yes, downtown Kinston has, is and has been revitalized and it looks amazing. So, Leon, I just realized there is a river running through downtown Kinston. Is this the Noose River? It is the Noose River. We are so fortunate to have a water feature in our downtown and hopefully at some point we'll be able to develop this a little bit more. As it is, that is part of the Mountains to Sea Trail. That's the kayaking portion of it that goes all the way to Newburn. And this pathway right here is part of the Mountains to Sea Trail mm. as well. And this will connect to the African American Music Park that is the, the trailhead yeah. of the African American Music Trail for which there's a whole trail for that through many, many counties. So, you know, we've got the uh, 1100 something mile Mountain to Sea Trail coming through here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the uh, African American Music Trail too. It's just loaded with history and opportunities. We've got Christmas coming. Uh, Christmas is a big deal in Kinston now. So if you're near Kinston or driving through Kinston, uh, have relatives in Kinston, come to Kinston for Christmas. And we have two major events here. Uh, the first one is November 12th at 6 o'clock. We light up the park and the stage is all done. Santa Claus is here. Then we have a tinsel trail out here and the tinsel trails are hosted by businesses who lease a spot in the park from us and they get to put in whatever kind of lighted decorations they want with their business sign. And then the tinsel trail decorations stay up as well as the park decorations. Until December 31st, they're lit and over 5,000 people walk through this park. Here we have our tree that we light up. There's a giant deer out here that lights up, the giant angels, and it's just a really, really, really good time. Following that, we do the Christmas parade. We have, as of last year, uh, 8,000 people watching the parade on the street, and over 500 people actually in the parade. Ooh. And News News broadcasts it live to over 20 states. So you get to watch it wherever you are, you know, basically. When is the Christmas parade? The Christmas parade is Saturday, December 3rd, first Saturday, December. It's always that first Saturday. And up to the morning? It's it's uh, in the evening. Oh. Yeah, it started, used to be in the morning, but we moved it to the evening because we wanted to, as part of bringing back that magic, we wanted to create new memories for the kids and really light the town up and get people out and, and all the decorations and, and things light up that night downtown. Everybody has lights on their, their floats, their costumes, their motorcycles, whatever they're, they're in. You know, they, they really make good use of the Christmas lights that night. You know, what's really interesting is in Lenore County, where we're located, we have a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday parade. Oh, cool. So you can bring your whole family <laughs> and spend the weekend and just get your fix of Christmas parades, and they're yeah. all different, you know? Uh, the other ones are in different part times of the day, but they're all great, great small town parades. Kinston loves Christmas. Well, not just the parades and stuff, because we have some churches around here that do the most amazing metropolis style concert series. Some of them are ticketed, some of them are wait in line for two hours and maybe you get a seat. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're really amazing. They're, they've really put a lot into it and it's really something to, to, to experience. So Leon, where can we find you online and on social media? You can find us on Facebook at uh, Downtown Kinston Revitalization. You can also uh, at downtownkinston.com. Okay. Our logo is a DK, so you'll know when you see that. You know, we get we got all these people who are, who are sharing stuff with us, and we share it, and especially if it's downtown or Kinston related, you know, we'll put it out there, we help, and we have a lot of nonprofits here that we share that sort of stuff to keep people feel involved. And we can share with you on hashtag Downtown Kinston? You can. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for oh, taking the time welcome. to meet with us today. Sure. My pleasure. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications to keep up with all of our adventures. Now I'd like to thank Gator Metal Roofing for sponsoring today's video. Let's check in with a recent customer to see how their experience was. Hi guys, Audrey and Al here with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So first things first, what is the color of your roof? Uh, the roof is black and the reason why I choose that color is because I got a couple other barns that got black roof and I wanted the house roof to match that. Sounds good, it looks very beautiful and very shiny. And have you noticed anything as far as like energy efficiency or with your energy bill? It's a little bit lower, yeah, it is. So your energy bill is lower since getting your Gator Metal roof? Yes. Definitely. 
And with that being said, would you recommend Gator Metal Roofing to any of your friends and family? Oh, yes. Yes. It'll last. It's real nice. Uh, we could have went with someone else, but we went with Gator. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time um, and letting us come and check out your Gator Metal Roof. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith.